Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we're going to uh, review and I guess battle the single barrel versus the small batch um, of E.H. Taylor. And so we're going we're gonna to jump into that. Well, the start of allocation season, you'll start seeing a lot more of these kind of pop up basically everywhere. Yeah. And so we kind of thought it'd be kind of Kind of a good thing to see if uh, which one's better. I have a theory. The reason partially why I wanted to do this video is I think the small batch is better than the single barrel. Okay. Now, don't be wrong. I think you can get a really good single barrel pick, and that's different. But I think if we're just talking your basic E.H. Taylor single barrel, small batch, standard, honestly, I think the small batch yeah. is better. This is, still, this is still on the wish list. I know. Still... It, it, it's going to change after this year if I if I don't get one this year. I'm just going to <laughs> just going to pass it. I'm going to take it off my wish list. Yeah, I'm going to say forget it. Let's see if I can reach across. Sure can. Oh, uh, you got it. I'm also spilling it everywhere. Cool. Good. So yeah, for everybody who doesn't know anything about E. H. Taylor, because I think pretty much at this point, if you're into bourbon kind of dukes or you know one of the more popular what does buffalo there. trace have today <laughs> yeah exactly. what does buffalo trace have today exactly yeah. um so first we'll talk about eh taylor small batch uh well they're both made by buffalo trace um i don't have a i, I guess i can explain them kind of both at the same time because sure. i really don't have anything different about them yeah uh they are both made by buffalo trace now, the cool thing about the uh, the small batches, you can actually get this at the distillery. You can, they have Eagle Rare, Small Batch, Blanton's, Weller Special Reserve, and then just standard Buffalo Trace. And then the cream every once in a while. Yeah, that cream, yeah. whatever, yeah. yeah. And then um, and you actually pick it up down there for 45 bucks, which is very reasonable. It is. It's, it's a great price for that bottle. Um, single barrel is a little different. Um, you... Can't really find that anywhere. No. So uh, it's no different than around here in Kentucky. We can't really find it. If and we can't really find it around here, most of the other time you can't find it anywhere else. Yeah. Uh, but they're both around 100. Or they're both at 100 proof, and also the single barrel. I think MSRP is like 60 bucks, 65 bucks. Uh, also, you won't see it for 60 or 65. <laughs> but but if you do, it's a great price. Yeah. It, it's it's truly a great price. So, and the Mashvilles have no clue. I think there's, I, I think they're supposed to be both Mashville one from Buffalo Trace, but I don't know if that's true or confirmed. So, and also I don't have age statements on them. I think what I've read, what they used to be, and now they've aged now. So I don't, I, I don't think anybody really knows what they really are now. So, but anyways, they're E. H. Taylor small batch and single barrel. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what true. they are. That's true. So the bottle and the tube speak for themselves. All right. Uh, which way are we going? You want to go left or right? Whatever. Uh, it seems uh, so on the right, we have we have single, single barrel. barrel. Left is small batch. Small batch. Or vice versa for you all. Whatever. Okay. That small batch is just always a good, just a good, smooth go-to. Yeah, I think it's, it's just, it's so... What sucks is, is if this stuff wasn't like highly allocated, it would just be like your everyday drinker. Yes. Like yeah. if they just had more of it, I think, it, and that's the shame about Buffalo Trace. Like, you know, a lot of people will sit there and criticize Buffalo Trace because, you know, well, or, or Blanton's or whatever else. And don't get me wrong. These E.H. Taylors, the warehouse C's, you know, that are going for like 1500 bucks or the Grand Against the Gods or whatever, some crazy price E.H. Taylor. I get it. We all get upset about it, right? Man, these small batches are so good. Yeah, the just, small batch is such a good... It is just such a good mm, bourbon, man. You just get a lot of fruit off yeah. that. Some rich oak off that. <clears throat> you get a smidge of ethanol on the nose, but it's really good. Mm, mm, mm. I've not had the single bear in a while. I was literally drinking on it the other night. That's why I thought about it. Because I was like, yeah, man, this is what we should this do. This should be good. Yeah. I, I'm I'm game. I'm always game to drink your bourbon. That's, he is. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? I'm sacrificial, if nothing. Yeah. 
yeah, he sacrifices by drinking mine or giving mine away. So yeah. it's all good. So I get a lot more of your traditional notes out of this. I get a lot more caramel. Uh, get some oak, some rich oak out of that. Get a little chocolate out of it, even. Which is crazy. I don't remember getting chocolate out of a single barrel the other night. I think it helps to drink another one. That's true. To kind of open up and, and figure out what what's in that. That's true. <clears throat> Ooh, man, that is... They, this one has a little more sweetness. The small batch has a little more sweetness on the front end of it. But I like... I like the single barrel. Hey, man, you like what you like. I don't blame you. Now, let me say this. This is close. Like, I think it's definitely fair to say that this is close. Yeah. I think this is really good. Mm -hmm. I still go with the small batch, even with him going with single barrel. But it's it, they're both really good, though. And I don't think there's a right or wrong answer with this. I either. don't. I don't think that there is either. I mean, but I, I I do think they're both really good. I just think that small batch is better. <laughs> and you so, can get small batch more reasonably. Yeah. Secondarily, like on the secondary, I mean, you're going to pay. Well, I, 80? I don't know. 80 to 100. Used to, they used to be like 65, yeah. and now they've went Some up. Out, I, I don't know. Everything's gone up, and so... Yeah, I, I don't know what they are. If you can go to Buffalo Trace and get it, go to Buffalo Trace and get it. Or if you see that Liquor Barn drop, dropped it or Total Wine dropped it... Yeah. Something local Get your fresh. car and run real fast and try it. And try. Because this is, yeah. this is a good one just to have... As a, as a daily drinker. If you can get oh, yeah. it for 45, it's a daily drinker. If you get it for 90 or 100, it's a, you're going to drink it more on a special occasion as yeah. opposed yeah. To, to every day. The single barrel, good luck. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> well, it's crazy, you know, at least even in our area. You know, I remember we went through a time where I, I remember like three or four drops within a couple months. I was like, man, it's just... Finally, they're producing them all the time. And then we went like a year and a half, it felt like, and they didn't put out any of it. Not a pick anywhere, not Man. nothing. I just, and it is really close. Yeah. I mean, really, really close. Yeah. So, and yeah. dang it, I don't want it to be the single barrel. I'd rather it be the small batch because I, I can get small batches all day long. For me, I think it's the single barrel. Yeah. Hey, man, if it's I think a single it, barrel for I, I think it is. And it's just going to make me want to find it that much more. It's on my wish list. Yeah. It's on my wish list. Yeah. Well, I'll be on his wish list until we try the foolproof and the foolproof knocks out. Of the well, the so. foolproof is just on a, another planet. Yeah, like, sure. That's sure. Yeah. It's just on another planet. <laughs> and then King of Kentucky is in a whole other universe. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Well, a yeah. universe that we, uh, you know, we don't. We take part of we, every yeah, once in a yeah, while. Yeah. Not very often. Special though. occasion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just hope occasion. I'm at his house for those special occasions so that I can. Uh, Basically, yeah, yeah. That's the only time I drink is yeah. whenever you're over here. So, <laughs> so you know. know. I'm a special occasion, guys. Bougie. That's what he is. Oh, uh, all well, right. it's a thumbs up for me on either one of these. Oh, these yeah. are both, uh, to me, um, the Buffalo Tray stuff, the. Ta the the E. H. Taylor is t by far to me the one to get like out of out of all. Oh the yeah. Stuff. So if we're like for me, if you're not counting like B. Tac, yeah, stuff like, like that, like yeah. like out, you're just out of all regular, like I mean, is Stag Junior considered part of that? No, because that one's harder to find than the Stag <laughs> single barrel. All right, fine. If we're not counting that, then yes, I'd go with E. H. Taylor, B. H. Taylor yeah. line in general. Like yeah. even the rise, pretty good. Yeah. Um. You're not going to go wrong with, with either of those. So. Yeah, no doubt. Um, but, yeah. So, I okay, so just to clarify, you recommend sing, single barrel, small batch, but we both recommend. If you can get one or the other, yeah. get it. If you obviously. can get either one of those, get them. Which is kind of, I yeah. feel like that's everybody. Feels and at like 100 that. proof, it's it's right at as a solid, you know, it's a, it's a solid drinker. It's going to. It's going to step some people up from mm -hmm. maybe their 86 to 90 proof that they sure. normally drink. And it's going to, it, and then, you know, for 
people like us who like to drink a little bit higher proof, mm -hmm. um, it's a good way to start. And then it kind of opens yeah. your, it opens your palate for whatever you're going to drink next. Oh yeah, 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 no doubt, yeah, no doubt. So, all right. Well, if you uh, liked this video, go ahead and give us a like, and uh, then follow us on YouTube. So hit that subscribe button, and then like us on Facebook, to where you can see future content and follow us for future updates. Hey, listen, and we are always we are grateful for any feedback, positive or negative. Yeah, I mean, somebody called him short. Which I love. <laughs> he, he was so he was so mad that somebody called him short. I wasn't. He, it, <laughs> it wasn't even. It wasn't even the comment. It was just that they called him short. <laughs> I wasn't mad. I was just like I'm five ten. I'm yeah, average height. I'm average height, man. <laughs> like I'm, I just happen to I'm be six short. four. Like that. That happens, and I'm you know I'm just above average. That that's just kind of the, my yeah. lot in life, and so. Uh, but it, it cracked me up. Any comments are welcome. <laughs> Uh, criticisms, uh, tell us what you like, what you don't like, all that good stuff, man. We, uh, we really, uh, love any comments for sure. So love them all. Yeah. Even so, when you and, call me short. Yeah. So until next time, uh, we'll see you. Peace.